Happy Tuesday, beautiful souls, wherever you are on this phenomenal planet. It is time for Shift Your Thinking Daily, where we transform our inner experience to a phenomenal outer experience for now, 10 minutes of our day. We do it together. Okay, before we jump into today's message, let's go ahead and take a couple deep breaths. Join me, breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Woo! All right. Hashtag your mood. Let me know how you're feeling. I'm feeling accomplished. I'm feeling accomplished today. I've, I've made progress and I accomplished uh, one thing that I set out to do uh, this week and I got that done. Tons of other stuff that need to get done. However, I, I, I was able to see one, one thing through and got it done today. So I'm really happy about that. Um, all right. So for those of you who are new to me, say hi, say hello. My name's Lisa Porto, also known as Super Agent. I'm a international speaker. Speaker, y'all know when I do these videos late, <laughs> I'm sleepy. My words are slurring. This is a whole nother Super Agent you guys are seeing because I am really putting in some work on these projects that I've got going. Um, we're gonna get back on track though. We are. So I'm, I'm still committed though. That's what's important. Okay, international speaker, public educator, active licensed real estate professional, creator and founder of many things, including the Ready Set Real Estate Show and merch. You can definitely copy your merch at my store online. Visit lasuperagent.com. Also turn on post notifications. That way you don't miss any new episodes as I upload them. You can check out the link above or below. Click and um, either book a creative consult with me if you have an idea, a concept, you need ideation support. I do offer that. And when you book a consult with me, you actually get the 10 minute journal, Activate Your Inner Creative, which is a journal with a twist. Why? Because um, we talk about wealth, goals, uh, discipline, all these other things people are talking about. However, they, they leave out one critical component, which is utilizing your own uh, basic needs, which are sexual health. So we talk about how sometimes repressing those energies block your creativity and blocks your money. So again, it's the 10 minute journal, activate your inner creative. And again, when you book a session with me, you get that journal too. Also what's happening, uh, shout out to our radio podcast listeners on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Anchor, Stitcher, Anchor, Breaker, CastBox. I think I've got it covered. Uh, for those of you who are new and uh, prefer Mobile University into podcasting, you can keyword Ready Set Real Estate or LA Super Agent on all of those on any of those radio podcast platforms. It will pop up, hit subscribe, and nothing else you need to do. And as the ep episodes are uploaded, you'll get that alert that there's a new one available. Uh, Shift Your Thinking is a bonus series, by the way, on our channel where we do personal development. And we are continuing our series from Dean Del Sesto's 200 Ways to Improve Our Lives. And you guessed it, there are 200 ways in this book, which means at the completion of this episode, this series, we will have 200 episodes on the channel. That's huge. That's huge because today makes episode 140 140 we're doing well we are doing well i'm going to caption this a fool from afar that's what i'm captioning this a fool from afar i'm in the section where the author says making someone look bad in public works you look bad i'm gonna say that again making someone look bad in public works you look bad he says, we all do stupid things from time to time. Go ahead and press one if you had any moments where you've done something stupid. Uh, I can relate, so one for me. He says, some we know about, some become the topic of conversation at a later date, and some we get by without anyone noticing. 
and are quite relieved when we do. He says, of course, it's one thing to do dumb things in private, but altogether different when they happen in public. He says the embarrassment gets magnified in direct proportion to the number of eyeballs focused on the blunder. He says, but whenever someone fails, excuse me, when someone falls short of what we think is appropriate in public, or they just plain screw up, go ahead and drop a screw up in the comments, screw up. He says, we have a few different options. So let's listen into what different options we can take when someone messes up or has a screw up. And I think you might wanna think about it if this were you, a fool from afar, right? He says, first, we can pretend we didn't see. He says, which doesn't really work very well because no matter how daft we are at masking, it's still written all over our face. And with no one, with no one lock of the bot, with no, with one lock of the eyeballs, it's over. Meaning all you need is one person to be like, catch it. And then you go, oh man, they saw it. Yeah, they saw it. So let's not ignore it. Sometimes let's just call it what it is. Let's acknowledge it. He says, next, the second thing we can do when we see somebody screw up, he says, we can engage in eye contact, give a smile and a nod of empathy or at least sympathy and move on as if nothing happened. As in the grand scheme of things, nothing really did happen, right? No really big deal. You, It only becomes a big deal as big as you make it. He says, the third option is we can bring attention to the screw up whatever kind of breakdown it might be. He says we can make fun of it, confront it, and bring unnecessary attention to it with the goal of making the other look foolish or inadequate. And it's that's a sad thing when you say with the goal of making someone look foolish or inadequate, and that's really self-reflection of you. Um, You may be mirroring back of scenarios that someone made you feel foolish and inadequate and you're perpetuating that behavior knit that in a bud because this is why I called it fool from afar because if you are taking the time and you're being intent on doing that to someone you're the fool he says FYI making someone look foolish in public is a strategy to make ourselves look good quote unquote ourselves look good we're not making ourselves look good clearly he says either through the creative way in which we do it or by an implied comparison that we would never be so stupid to do such a thing too late he says either way we are the ones who look like the fool in those circumstances it's in those moments where we can be either an idiot of arrogance or a hero of levity the former causes division and resentment the latter has the ability to create rapport drop in the comments create rapport and trust with others in about 15 seconds he says Today, let's go ahead and join me and figure out how we can practice a little empathy to make a difference today. All right, that's my time. I love you, love you, love you. This is the first time I finish one exactly before 10 minutes. And I get to shout you out and continue to say thank you, thank you, thank you for connecting with me. I trust you will have a powerful and productive day. I will see you tomorrow as we continue our series of Shift Your Thinking. Bye.